reaching out their hands, our brothers and sisters in so many lands. If ever kindness was needed, then it's crying out to us the time. the hope for all the world, but he's the peace and the hope for your world tonight, too. Mm -hmm. So what's it gonna take before we show some charity? charity. Compassion and mercy the way it's meant to be. Who'll take the time for the ones who truly need and pray for a nation that's out on the street. What man is greater than his brother when in Jesus' eyes we're all talented performer. She won her fifth uh, Grammy a few weeks ago. She'll be at the Anaheim Con uh, California Convention Center March 14th and 15th, and Detroit at the Palace of Auburn Hills on the 21st of March. Current album is called Another Time, Another Place. Here is Sandy Patty. Sandy. <laughs>
and felt his spirit move in my life. I know it's truly just a taste of his glory in Yes. It's marvelous, and Thank it's you. called another, another, time, another, another time, place. another place. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thank you and for having Max, me. And Max, I think great things are going to happen with you. Yeah. 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 Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow night. There we go. Calvin Trillin and BB King. Good night. Performer who's already had 10 number one Christian hits. Ladies and gentlemen, my co host Sandy Patty and Mr. Wayne Watson. I've always heard there is a land beyond the mortal dreams of. His spirit move in my life. I know it's truly just a taste of his glory and
fantastic. Sandy Patty, Wayne Watson. Our next two presenters are both songwriters and singers. They have both been winners of multiple Dove Awards. They have each had a succession of hit songs and a ton of award nominations, and they are competing against one another in three categories tonight. They are both tremendous talents and fierce competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael W. Smith and Wayne Watson. <laughs> Well, at least we're not competing in this one together. What do you think about that? At least Stephen Curtis is not in this category. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, uh, let's enjoy the moment. Okay? <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, our nominees for Female Vocalist of the Year are... Just for the love for the Becker. Margaret Becker. Kim Hill. Abby Mason. Twyla Paris. Sandy Patty. We can open it. Okay. Double award for female vocalist of the year. Sandy Patty. Thank you so much. It has been a very full 10 years. Some things I would do again, some things I wouldn't. But through it all, God has been very faithful. And thank you for your faithfulness too. Your friendship and your kindness and your support have always meant the world to me. I thank my husband, John Helvering, and our four wonderful children, Anna, Jonathan, Jennifer, and Aaron, the Helvering Agency, Word Records, of course, the radio guys. How could we do this without them? <laughs> And they're so humble. <laughs> Thank you all so very much. A wise man once said, there are no atheists in foxholes. Throughout the ages, the military has always acknowledged the need for spiritual guidance and comfort during times of trouble. Our next guest is a five-time Grammy Award winner who has always included the higher forces in her performance. We are proud to welcome her today to help welcome home the troops. Here with the voices of LA, Miss Sandy Patty.
What's it gonna take before we show some charity? Compassion and mercy the way it's meant to be. Who'll take the time for the ones who truly need and pray for a nation that's Gentlemen, Alan Dick.
is Mrs. Shirley Lansing, and I want her to come now and speak to us. I am so honored to be here today with all of you and to be on this platform with Dr. and Mrs. Graham I come with a story about my son, his name, John Kendall Morgan, Warrant Officer One, United States Army, serving in Operation Desert Storm. Jack, he's known as to his friends as Jack. Jack was always a really, really fine young boy. Many of you here in the stadium are very young. And I think of my son when he was young. And I think about how we committed his life to Jesus to raise him in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And how at the time, it didn't seem terribly important to dedicate his life, but it was important. When the two officers came to our door and told us those words just a few weeks ago, that we never thought ever that we would hear that they regretted to inform us that our son had been killed in action when his helicopter was shot down by hostile Iraqi fire on February the 27th. We have been very sad. And we have had people from all over the country who have written because they have known there were so few. But even those few have families. My husband is up here today, and my daughter, Catherine Morgan, and my son's fiance, Lisa Cole. When Jack got on the airplane to leave for Saudi Arabia, he gave Lisa his a bride's book, a magazine, so that they could be planning the wedding that was to be held August 30th. And I say to you, each one here, and I speak to you only from my heart and out of my pain, because only God can give me the strength to stand here before you and say these words. 
but they're so important because each of you has the decision to make that my son made. And this is a time when you have a choice and God gives us a choice and we never know how long we'll have to make that decision. I wanted to read you a few words that were written about Jack because you see, he did take his Bible with him to, to the desert and we had a letter from his best friend, his tent mate, who said, I don't know if he told you, but Jack started reading the Bible every day over here. Every day he read the Bible. Every day he looked at your picture and reread your letters. I'm sure he is in God's hands. And we received from Jack a letter that he wrote on February 3rd, and that letter contained two letters to be opened just in case. And after we heard the news, we opened them, and Jack said to us, in case you have to open this, please don't worry. I'm all right. And because Jack had a sense of humor, he said, now I know something you don't know, what heaven's like. And what I wish for each one of you is that each of your children and each of you will take Jesus into your heart so that when God calls you home, that you'll know that your child or your loved one is there with him because he tells you, now I know what heaven's like. God bless you all. I couldn't help but be so moved when I listen to Shirley's story. Because this is a time of celebration when we are welcoming so many of our men and women home. And what a great time of celebration to say to them, welcome home. But how insignificant our words welcome home are compared to Jesus meeting Jack at the gates of heaven and saying to Jack, welcome home home. He has seen Jesus, and he knows that he is alive, and we're so grateful for his life, for the death on the cross, and the life that he gives to us. I fed away. Then we all stood around to the God took him down and Joseph begged for his body that day. And it was late afternoon when we got to the tomb, wrapped his body and sealed up the grave. So I know how you feel. Oh, his death was so real, but please listen and hear what I say. I've just seen Jesus. I tell you, he's alive. I've just seen Jesus. How a precious Lord alive And I knew Yes, I knew Really saw me soon It was as if till now I'd never leave 
Thank you, Sandy and Larnell. And we'll return to the King Dome in a moment with Billy Graham and his message for today. Our next award winner is one of gospel music's best-known ambassadors. Her enormous talent and dedication have made her a favorite around the world. The 1991 Reader's Choice for Favorite Female Vocalist is Sandy Patty. Thank you. Thank you all so very, very much. There is joy in the Lord, and there is joy in being obedient to Him. And thank you for this affirmation and your encouragement tonight. Brothers and sisters 
At home, a 900 number you could call to vote for your own favorite gospel artist at the same time. Now, 15,000 of you have had the opportunity now to enjoy Inside Music magazine and to be able to read about gospel music and artists. It's finally time for the official results of our poll for the viewer's choice. And here to present this special award on your behalf is the producer of the Reader's Choice Award, Thurlow Spur. <laughs> Well, on behalf of the voters at home watching and the Reader's Choice Awards and the inside music and the people here in this auditorium in Houston, Texas, it's my pleasure to present this Viewer's Choice Award. Ladies and gentlemen, probably no surprise, Sandy Patty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you <laughs> so much. I, John and kids, how many times did you call the number? <laughs> you know, there are two basic reasons why all of us do what we do. The first and most important is that God has called us to this. But the second reason is for the people. And I thank you so much for encouraging me and believing in me. You don't know how much it means. I will treasure this always. Thank you. So, Daryl, the life of a race car driver must be a real thrill. Hmm, a lot of spills, too. And I have a lot of cars to prove it. Living in the fast track? Yeah, but that's, that's not really the, the important thing. The important thing is to be on the right track. And speaking of the right track, we have some great tracks to honor tonight. The nominees for the Female Vocalist of the Year are... Margaret Becker. The strangest name. And the Dove Award goes to Sandy Patty. Sandy Patty. Thank you so very much. After 11 years, I would not be surprised if you're very, very tired of me. But I want you to know I'm not at all tired of you. And thank you so much for your continued encouragement to me. I want to thank my family, my children, my daughter, hello, Anna, Buddy, Jenny, and you all go to bed now. And my word family, my epic family. And um, I thank God. for his tender mercies that are becoming new to me every day for his faithfulness in our lives. Thank you very much.
The dove for female vocalists. Of the only just who cute and we must see it. You've watched her receive this award for female vocalists for the last 11 years, but tonight she has a she great singer. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a pair of artists who range from the sublime to the ridiculous. I <laughs> 